If you know this channel and you just know me, you just obviously also know that I'm just a huge fan of um, digital security and digital privacy. That means most of our lives, especially my life, is just all around the digital world. And therefore, I'm just using some things like a virtual private network, a VPN, or things like this uh, Deeper Connect Mini that I've just made a review uh, about it. You can watch it up here. Or this, if it's a little bit more uh, enterprise grade, this Firewall solution I've also here um, just made an unboxing about it. Can you watch it up here? But nevertheless, if you just take a look at stuff to you just use on a regular basis, like your smartphone or your tablet, with all the photos, with all the documents you just have on your smart, smart devices out there, you just want to have some sort of backup. And I can just say, please, you do a backup of all your content, all your photos, because if your device just gets wrecked for some reason, um, you will have a really bad time. So therefore, you have a couple of different solutions. You can just use services like OneDrive, iCloud, or Dropbox or so many others out there where you just have a public cloud where you can just store your photos or your data. But you have also a different solution. You can just buy a NAS and just build it on your own at home or you can just go for something like this that I've just here. It's from the company called Latticework. It's the Amber X. The uh, campaign is just still running and it's just a super interesting product. It's somehow like um, a private cloud super easy plug and play really simple and you have a lot of storage in here and a super easy interface where you can just offload all your photos and all your content from your smart devices onto this little guy here um, at your home network with all the privacy with all the security and i thought i would just give it a shot we'll just do a quick unboxing today review will follow soon and we'll just start right after the intro super long intro um yeah this was just the first take and i will just use it maybe probably i will just use it so um the complete idea behind the amber x and lattice work um is that this is now the um really tiny and compact version of the bigger amber so they had this this very first generation and um, way bigger way beefier i will just guide you through the complete unboxing process here so we just see it's all about just storing all the um, or automatic uploading all your content from your smart devices also whether it's your pc or a smartphone tablet whatever doesn't matter you can also just do albums and also have the ability to share it with others and have access to it when you're just at home or when you're just on the go so maybe your smartphone storage is not enough and you will just want to offload all your uh, photos there and have more storage to shoot more photos and also offload it in the future you can do this absolutely here. Furthermore, and really important part is that everything is just encrypted from end to end. And also the privacy by design, that means SSL and TLS um, encrypted connection there. So everything is just safe and it's in your own hands. That means you can just do with your data, whatever you want to do. Really easy, really simple. So on this side, um, bring any device share to any cloud. That means you can just really sync everything together the way you just want to. I really like the idea um, your digital life organized because uh, most people I know have a digital life, but it's not organized at all. Which brings us perfectly to the back of the packaging here. Um, so this is how the Amber X looks like. Uh, really simple, uh, somehow a little bigger than an Apple TV, you could say so. So um, I think it fits nearly everywhere. It um, should be no problem at all. You can sync all your uh, content from your different devices with auto backup, which is just really smart. And definitely you should just make it a uh, backup. Wh whatever you want to do, please do a backup. And also you have the ability to use the SD card reader here. And the best part is you have just already integrated storage into the Amber X. So here we have 500 gigabyte um, SSD included and you can also expand on this with this a USB 3.1 port and USB type A so this typical 5 gigabit uh, so you can just um, extend with an external SSD SATA SSD if you want to um, or just use a typical hard drive uh, no problem at all so you can power this up here and just make it running and expand on this 500 gigabyte but I think the very first shot for the first year or first couple of years to come 500 gigabytes is just really good size and the cool part just keeps on coming and um, organizing is not only just um, when have I shot which photo you can also just sort by date location so all the uh, metadata that's just coming with a photo which is just really smart and also just share it that means you can share it with other people you just want to share your content with or also just share it with 
within your home network that means if you just have somehow a 4k file on your Ember X you can just stream it and just mirror it to maybe your smart TV. Little downside for me, I must be honest, because my complete home network here is now upgraded to Wi-Fi 6 and all my main devices also just supporting Wi-Fi 6. The Ember X is just coming with Wi-Fi 5 or AC, not AX. But um, this is not the biggest problem because the performance is just really good and it's two by two. So enough antennas and enough performance to keep you just going and just hit the SSD with um, all the different um, inputs and outputs you just want to generate when you have just um, more people in your home network and just accessing the Ember X at the same time. If you can, and and I will always just recommend it if you can just afford another LAN port on your router or wherever you just want to stick this Amber X in your home network, just use the gigabit ethernet port, you will just have a better time it, because you will always have a better time cabled and not just use a wireless connection. Okay, um, enough talking, this was just super long. Um, so now we're just taking a deeper look what you can just find here and also what it looks like. And I will just set it up really quick. I can just set up with Wi-Fi here in the first place, which is just fine. And th so the very first thing you just need to do is um, let's get connected and with the app so you can just have the app, for example, on your smartphone like I have here, just give me a second and then we just up and running. Okay, this is now the Amber iX app here. Um, the rating is just pretty okay. And what I really like is a really good description, which is not typical on the App Store. And also you can find that the bug fixes are already made three days ago. So they are just trying to improve the performance as well as um, some other features like album creation. So they just still on the software side, improving on this. So um, it's just really, really early product here. Just keep this in mind. Okay, so the app is downloading. And in the meantime, we can just take a look at the device itself looks like this so a really nice finish i must be honest and yeah so ventilation holes here on the top the sd card reader here on the side nothing on the other side nothing in the front the led here on the top and also um here in the back just your dc plug power hdmi 2.1 gigabit ethernet and just one uh, usb type a port here so you can just even expand on the 500 uh, gigabyte SSD here and everything else down there is just um, yeah Mac and serial number and whatever you want to do password so um, everything you just need to go for and all in all it just takes uh, 12 volts and 2 amps that means it runs max max power on 24 watts which is not a lot so if you compare it to maybe a NAS you can just buy or get this is just way more energy efficient and just way smaller and easier to use for most people so i really like it that's just super super simple and they just even included a gigabit ethernet cable which just works perfectly fine i will not use it in the first place now because i will just go for the um, Wi-Fi um, setup here in the first place and not for the uh, wired connection but you can just do so and that's just the power plug and that's just everything you just get in the box so really easy probably I will just need to power this on use the app to uh, set everything up and then I'm just up and running and it works just perfectly fine and if I haven't said this in the first place and um, this Ember X um, sample here is just um, sent from lattice work to me free of charge so this is just really early um, review samples so the hardware is just finished they just still tweaking the software side so there will be a lot of um, improvement in the future nevertheless and um, they will definitely ship it and um, the build quality is just really good really sturdy I really like it you can just go to the campaign I will just put down the link um, in the video description to the campaign it should be on for another day or so so I hopefully will get this video out really fast and on the other side if you're just too late or if I'm not fast enough you can just go to myamberlife.com and just purchase it there um, it's roughly around about $100 130 I think so I would just need to look it up again but nevertheless um, I think it's just in the first place it looks like it could be worth it but we will just try it out and we will do a complete review about it so if you want to see the complete review about the amber x also just subscribe to this channel okay first thing i need to do is just to make an account but this is just obvious you will just need to have some sort of access to your device and also to your uh, 
account for the Amber X. And when you just try to set up your account, you will definitely notice that Lettuce Work people are just really people for security and privacy devices because you just get some um, really great and really obvious um, recommendations or just a rule set for setting up your password. It's not the strongest what I've just chosen in the first place, um, but it just uh, checks all the boxes and this just so little detail, but really important. Okay, perfect. I will set up the Amber X. As you can see, you can also just use the app for the um, classic or typical Amber. The setup pro process is just super easy. I've done the complete checklist. So let's see what's now coming here. So this is now looking for Bluetooth connection and my device as well. I like the uh, user experience and the UX. So this is just really good designed app in the first place. Okay, that's it. That's just super easy. Uh, so yes, it just takes a couple of minutes, but nevertheless, uh, we just get the work done and it's just super simple. So I think nearly everybody should be able to set this up in the first place. So now it's setting up the name, creating the volume, creating default folders. So you get just the basic setup done and everything else you can just configure on the app or just in your browser, which is a super easy. And then you can just access the Ember X from all your devices, whether it's your Mac, your PC, your smartphone, whether it's iOS or Android, you can just exit this little machine here and have all access to it. Do your um, camera roll auto upload if you want to, like you would normally do with iCloud or um, Dropbox or OneDrive, for example, and can just access everything, share it and organize it, which I really like. And the really best part of it is it's, it's and the really best part is that it's just one-time payment. That means this device is yours when you just buy it um, from Lettuce Work and you can just do with it whatever you want to do. And it's just super simple. That means you will not have to pay every month a subscription fee for your cloud storage and you don't know where the your device or where your uh, storage and where all your photos are just lying on which data center, whatever you want to think about. And you can just really rely on this here and just be sure, okay, if this is unplugged from the wall, no one has access to your data. And as you can see here, I have now the 128 gig uh, version of my iPhone 11, and I already filled it up with over 100 gigs. So maybe it could be just a good idea to offload the files to the Amber X here and can exit it from all the other devices I have and really just don't need iCloud because I think the pricing is not the very best when it comes to iCloud and it's not the safest when it comes to a few things happened in the past um, you can just google it if you want to this is just the very first um unboxing of the ember x i will just do a complete review of this if you want to watch it just um, subscribe to this channel i would be really appreciated nevertheless go to the ember x campaign site or just directly to lettuce work or to myamberlive.com if you want to check out the device and as always if you dislike this video you know what to do but if you liked it hit like down there get subscribed and enable the notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future video of the idea of technology and i just want to say thank you very much for watching have a great day Bye.